So the Florida Panthers and New York Rangers will face off in Game 4. Will the New York Rangers go up 3-1 or will the Florida Panthers be able to tie the series at two apiece? Now I'm doing another long form video. This will not be monetized. So I appreciate if you guys subscribe, like, comment. It helps me out with the algorithm. And it's just nice to see some return and see if you guys enjoy the video. But getting right into it. Bob would be tested very early on. Nice save here. And then Shesterkin with a nice stop on Tarasenko, who the Florida Panthers hope he can start to get going. Florida will go on the power play, and Shesterkin made some damn nice stops to keep this a 0-0 game. Not to ruin the recap, but Shesterkin was phenomenal in this game. But the New York Rangers would a power play of their own. Bob would make a nice save here. But then Trocek in the high slot would rifle this home. Rangers go up 1-0. And then late in the first period, Zibanejad, who's been struggling to produce offensively, right off the post. That's a bit backbreaking. So we go into the second period. 1-0 game for the Rangers. And Shesterkin just continues a very good performance. Actually, a great performance. Scrambling save here on Verhege. Look at this. Just extending. Just making sure it stays out of the back of the net. Shesterkin just played extremely well. Rodriguez would have an opportunity here, backhand, and Shesterkin shuts the door. Verhege had a nice chance there, but eh, shoots it wide. So the Florida Panthers are pressuring the New York Rangers quite a bit. And due to that, Lindgren would take a holding penalty. Florida would go on the power play, and OEL gets robbed on a great glove save, and Reinhardt would get very close ringing it off the bar. Now with the power play just expiring, Bennett would get on the board to tie this game up 1-1, just squeaks over the goal line, and the Panthers have life. The Panthers were dominating the play for the most part in this period. Sturkin was solely keeping them in this game, and another penalty due to the Florida Panthers pressure. Goodrow goes over the boards, delay of game, another power play for the Panthers. And the best penalty killer, again, was Shesterkin. 45 seconds left here on the power play, and Verhage bats this out of the air. Off Lindgren, good hand-eye coordination. Now Florida has a 2-1 lead. And both goalies would make some nice stops after the Verhage goal. Forsling would take a tripping penalty. New York has a golden opportunity to tie this game up 2-2. And Bobrovsky, nice stop here on Sabinejad, who has just been struggling. But a shorthanded opportunity, Shesterkin comes up big on Barkov. Now, Lafreniere, he's been cooking in this playoff series. Look at that move. Whoop, right through. Great move, rings it off the bar. Could have tied this game up at 2-2. And then with under two minutes left in the period, this was a fantastic stop on Barkov by Shesterkin. We would go into the third period with the Florida Panthers having a 2-1 lead. And they had a golden opportunity to extend it, but amazing save by Shesterkin. Now Lindgren would get banged up by Reinhardt. He would go into the locker room, but a few minutes later, he's back out on the bench. Regardless if you're a Panthers fan, Rangers fan, fan of any hockey team, you just gotta appreciate the toughness Ryan Lindgren has. And Adam Fox here, who has been kind of silent, beautiful spinorama play, shoots it towards the net, off Lafreniere sticking in. Lafreniere, who has been impressive, gets another goal. We got a tied game 2-2. But after that goal, the Panthers would start hemming the Rangers in their own zone. And due to that, Chesterkin would have to come up big a few times. The Rangers were struggling to get it out of their own zone. And again, due to Chesterkin being world class, he keeps them in this game. And Opozo here, great opportunity back in. And Chesterkin extends the right pad, seals the lower part of the ice, keeping this game tied. Later on, the flurry, Igor would lose his stick, and Goudreau with a nice block to make sure it stays tied. Verhege would come down, nice save here by Shesterkin, and then Kreider over to Zibanejad, and he just misses. Man, these two just had been struggling in this series. Shesterkin would make another nice save through traffic, and another nice stop here to make sure to keep the Rangers in it. And then with a minute 15 here, Bob with a nice positional save. And we're going to overtime. A little bit of chippiness here. Reinhardt on Truba. Reinhardt did not like that cross check. And he's like, you know what? I'm tired of your guff. I'm going to hit you in the face. We're going to overtime. And Barkov would have an amazing opportunity to finish it off. But Wheeler would hook him. The Florida Panthers 
go on the power play, and that's all she wrote. Ryan Hart with an absolute bomb from the slot. Panthers win this game 3-2. Absolutely impressive performance by Shesterkin in a losing effort. And the Panthers were the far more dominant team in this game. So Florida played extremely well in this game, but Kreider and Zibanejad have to show up in this series if the Rangers are going to win it. Now I'm not saying Kreider and Zibanejad do not make an impact on the game in other ways outside of the score sheet, but you need your leaders to produce. You're playing a very deep and talented Panthers team. You need all hands on deck. And as for the Panthers, great response. I know Jaws was pulling out all his gray hair after that game three loss. Yeah! 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 Oh. Everything broke. Everything broke. Oh my I broke God. it all. I ripped my arm open and we won the game. Oh. But Florida has played well in this series. Maybe not always getting the wins, but you do have to like what you see when you watch them play. They are a load to play against. But I'd like to know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Who impressed you the most in this game? I'm Katz and Paul. I appreciate all the support on the videos. I'll see you in the next one.